All right, so I'm gonna get straight into it. Uh, you saw the title. Uh, we're gonna do three maps today. We're gonna do Breach, Factory, and Hollows. Uh, I'm going to start with Breach, and uh, we're gonna do some bows. We're gonna do some bounce needs. So yeah, we're gonna start with our first one. So in our first one, we're gonna line up to this wall, and we're gonna bounce this uh, arrow off of this back wall, which will reveal the whole site on A. So you can see how the projectile goes uh, the red line, it, it literally reveals the whole side of A. So, in case um, so we're going, going to continue on our second one, which is the same spot pretty much, but you're hugging the other wall so you can get more distance and it's a bounce nade. So you're literally using the same wall, but on the B inner, you, you, you go to the other wall. So you can see where the projectile goes on this, um, on this, on this, uh, screen. It, it, it will, I will show you on a recording. It will it it bounce nades in the it you, you can see where it where it landed. Uh, so yeah, next it, it, one we are going to have um a seeker bow inside of uh A. I think this is A. I'm I'm actually I forgot. Um so when you're on defense, um since seeker has like speed five, I'm pretty sure you can get here very quick, like definitely before everyone else on the attack side. And if you perfectly line up this shot, it will reveal the whole A site again. You can see how the projectile goes again all the way around A. So it doesn't matter where they stand, they will definitely be revealed, maybe even killed. So you kind of line it up to where it, it just reveals the whole area. So next one, we are going to have a bounce nade on B site, so on defense. Um, you can bounce nades. So the, the, the thing that I'm aiming at right now, you can't, you can't really see because of my arm, but it's the box in front of me. So I didn't even know myself, but this box is apparently at an angle. So if you bounce nade this, it, you can see how the projectile of the bounce nade goes on the right side, which, which this right side, I mean, I will go on that spot where it lands, but it's literally the corner of this, like luggage whatever it is so whoever's hiding there on the attack side and like looking on be long you can easily kill them there oh. this so one this one is pretty obvious i would say but still people don't really use it uh in case if someone's hiding on uh i think it's called cubby hole like jump wall you know that jump jump wall if someone's hiding on that jump wall you just throw a bounce nade, bounce nade here and then it easily um, kills them I mean, this is this is also a pretty basic one but people don't really use it some people that defend tend to uh, stay in front of the door on B side and look over um, top B. So when you throw this bounce nade, it will land outside a bit on the, on like, it, you will you will see where it lands. So I'm just gonna throw it and you'll see where it lands. You can see how the projectile goes like outside. So, all right, so uh, that was it for breach. And now we're gonna move on to hollows. So, there's a pretty basic spot on hollows that pretty much everyone knows. And that spot is on, oh God, is this a site? Uh, I think it's a, I hope it's a, if it's not a, then I'm sorry. So I'm just going to call it an a. So on a site, um, you know, everyone knows this wall. So when you're a defense, you get on top of this luggage in crane, then you shoot it off of the wall and it reveals everyone that's in the area there. Right? Well, I didn't know, but apparently you can line this perfectly to where not only you will remove, you will reveal people that are in that area, but also you will reveal people that are on the zip line. So you know how people wait on the zip line for the air, for the bow to go. Well, there is a, there it's, you're literally still using the same wall. You can see how I'm lining it up. Look at the, look at the projectile, how it goes. So it goes straight to the left. Somehow it bounces off of some walls. And then you, you're looking for this. You're supposed to look for the projectile that goes up to the rocket. So if you if you find this, this is the perfect uh, projectile that you're looking for. So when you shoot, um, you will see that there's a friend of mine that's like that's like on top of zipline. So you see how he gets revealed. I don't know how how good you can see, but he gets revealed and he's on zipline. Like he's he's waiting for the bow at the zipline. Okay. All right, this is also another pretty basic um, bounce nade, but not 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 a lot of people use it. At least I don't, not in my lobby. So it's literally just a bounce nade to um. So this bounce nade lands uh, on the door, and 
if people if people are watching that angle, they they're just they're, they're just dead. dead. I mean, it's I'm same, it's the same with the bow. You can use the same bow. You can use the bow in the same spots, and it's gonna reveal the whole area of uh, them pushing, and you can easily kill someone. All right, so All this right. is a pretty common monster as well. Um, not a lot of people use it though. People tend to just throw the bounce net off of rocks and hope that it 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 um, bounces good. But this is like the best way to kill someone on B site. I hope it's B. Okay, I really do hope this is B site. If not, I'm, I apologize. But throwing it and you can see how the projectile goes there. So it perfectly bounces and kills him. There were both of them were there, but I but I chose the close right. Now I'm gonna do the close left to see that you can do the same thing. But yeah. It lands perfectly on them. And it's a pretty nice way to kill someone on side with a bounce nade. This one, this one is nice, okay? If you use this garage door, it, it is definitely gonna land on the close wall of jump wall, if that makes sense. I mean, I will go there to, to, to see where it lands. Like, it kills my friend there. It is this one. So look at look at where it landed. It kind of lands close to the wall. So I, this one, this one I personally didn't know. So you're using, I, I, I rarely use the, the, the rocks because they're like inconsistent. But if you use the bow on the rock, it will scan the whole A site. Okay, the, the whole site, I'll just say. So if people are playing up close on defense, you can easily reveal them. Doesn't matter if they're up close on red, uh, up close, like um, on this like like platform area, it will reveal them. So it you can see how the projectile goes here. It will reveal all of them. This so, one, this is a nice bounce nade, which is pretty much a guaranteed kill unless they got a trophy, of course. Uh, if you like, if you hug the wall in red and make sure that no one is uh, looking on this left side of the door, if you know that someone's in there, they're probably on this like close left wall. For from their view, they're close left wall. So if you crouch so that they don't even know that you're here, you can bounce nade this off of the inside wall, and it it will perfectly land where they are and even if there's if even if there's two people here it still affects the person that's that's holding the other wall as all right so here um i don't i don't really use the bounce nade this way on on this site uh, i i usually tend to bounce it off of the wall on red and then land on site but this is a nice way to like be still behind cover and use your surroundings so if you bounce off your bounce nade off of this back uh box it perfectly lands on site. So if you know that someone's rolls on site, you can just use this box to perfectly land the bounce site on site. And this is the same box that you use, but from uh, another position, which is the crane position. So you can use that same box to kill the people on uh, on site. All right, now we're gonna move on to Factory. Now Factory has quite a lot of spots for uh, Seeker Bow and especially for bounce nades. So um, when you're attacking as a Seeker, um, you can use this. You can use this wall uh, to. So 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 the way this works is you see how the projectile cuts right here. It doesn't really go fully on B side. It it like kind of it bounces off of this wall. Then it bounces off of another wall and comes back. Right. So you're supposed to look for this. You're supposed to look for the position where your bow cuts off somewhere. That means that the bow is gonna bounce off of the wall on B sides, which is one of the walls. I'll tell you which one later. So if when you find this area, you're not gonna throw your bow. You're gonna slowly start moving your bow to the right. And as soon as the projectile doesn't like, doesn't block on the wall, you're gonna throw it. So you see how now it, it doesn't, it doesn't like, it, it goes on B sides. This is what you're looking for. So as soon as you, throw this, it kills him. And then you, I'll see, I'll tell you where it, it kills him. So you look at this. So you saw where he was revealed. That's where it kills him. That's where he, it kills him. And uh, this That's is kind of the that. same thing. You're using the same wall, but this time for snake. So if someone's hiding behind snake, you can easily kill them if you use this kind of a bow. This so, one, this one isn't necessarily a good one, but if someone's playing up close on this site, from defense, because they tend to sometimes play up close. You can just use this wall to just bounce it off and just kill him if he's behind that. I don't. This is a good bounce nade kill. All right, so here, um, I, I, so how I usually throw my bounce nade on, on jump wall is I'll jump in this area, but I'll bounce it off of the wall. So I'll bounce my bounce nade off of the ball, get away with it. But this way, I am bouncing it off of this box that I'm in right now and they can't really 
get away from that no matter what so you know how i said that second wall that the bow you th that i used the bow on the wall to kill that one that was hugging the wall that's pretty much this is pretty much the same concept with the bounce nade you can actually I, this is like the first um arrow on defense that you use uh so as soon as you land on this site um you get your bow out and i don't know you can't really see here but the, the, the so i'm i'm i am bouncing this arrow uh off of like the sandbags i don't know if you know what i'm talking about that like cover that on the other side it's like sandbags so you bounce it off of the the top right corner of the sandbag and you can see how the projectile goes all the way horizontally to the right all the way so this goes straight into their spawn inside that big uh facility or whatever yeah exactly so, so this is this is a bounce site that you can use on uh defense to kill people that are planting so it doesn't necessarily mean the people that are planting you could also kill the person that's looking over the plant so as so it, it kind of depends how you bounce it but th this one kills the person that's watching over um this bounce nade is a pretty nice one so you can you can so you can so you'll see where the bounce nade lands i can't really explain it but if you use this wall so it literally killed the person that's behind this cover not even on the smaller like cover on on my left literally like on on the cover that you can't even shoot him from jump that, ball i purposely throw the bounce nade you don't just you don't just throw the bounce nade. you kind of have to like lean it to where it wouldn't land on this area outside it it will go inside and kill them on the inside so this one is nice okay this one is nice but you kind of have to act quick with it you can't just expose yourself holding it so that they can see what you're doing but if you use this box in front of you since it's at an angle it the, the bounce net will land you're supposed to use the bottom right um part of the box and it will perfectly land uh, behind this cover. Uh, so, this is another bounce nade. It's a pretty risky bounce nade because you're hiding behind this area and it's, I don't know, if they have a molly, they can easily kill you while you're rolling away. Uh, but you can use this like stairs kind of to like kind of bounce the bounce nade perfectly on side. This one is a pretty risky bounce nade as well because you're very much exposed. But in case you down someone beforehand and they're resting behind this like uh, box, you can easily use the bounce nade and throw it on this top left corner of this thing to like kind of fully finish so you're using this like vertical pole um you're using this vertical pole and the the the, the, the this bow literally hugs the wall on the close side so if someone's watching that angle on the wall you will kill them and, uh, so yeah, yeah that would conclude uh the uh i would say episode for for today, I don't know if I'm gonna do a part two, maybe three other maps. Um, if you have any idea on which maps to to do, please comment. Uh, but yeah, I I haven't really seen people use this kind of like lineups and pre nades, especially bounce nades. So big thanks to my friend Fake Feminism, also known as Chris and Sorta. Uh, that is the other guy who helped me. And yeah, uh, if I do plan on doing another one, I will do another one in the future. But this concludes these three maps, Breach, Hollows, and Factory. Let me know if I've missed some of them. I probably have, but I'm trying to um, tell you the ones that are like a bit more important, I would say. All right, appreciate you for watching.